home from a quick run to the grocery store. I gotta tell you, this is the second week, third week, I think, in a row I've been doing meal planning and it makes grocery shopping so much easier and the whole week so much less stressful. Um, nothing exciting. Tacos for dinner tonight. I think fajita, skillet fajita chicken breasts tomorrow. Thursday night I'm gonna do spaghetti carbonara. No, spaghetti bolognese. Wednesday, more chicken. Just like breaded panko chicken. It's a chicken week. Some weeks it's a lot of chicken. But then this guy showed up. Doesn't he look cute? Mr. Handsome, look at that mug. <laughs> Shane's feeling a little under. No fever, no stomach ache, just really tired and we don't wanna risk uh, this developing in anything else. No achy pain, nothing? No, okay. So he's gonna finish his apple cider and he's gonna go rest and Michael and I are actually meeting friends for lunch and it's okay for us to go, yes? Yeah, yeah cause he said he's just gonna sleep. We're not gonna be gone that long. And the friend you know, it's my friend Layla, Dr. Layla, um, pre prescribed design blog, and her husband, who is a big golfer. So we figured it would be nice if the two of them, if the husbands met. So we're just gonna pop out for a little bit and then um, see if I can make you some late lunch. Some chicken soup maybe with rice. So I'll see you guys a little bit. Major vlogger fail. We're in the car. Yeah. On the way home from lunch, and I'm talking to Michael about what a lovely lunch we had with Layla and her husband. And I'm like, I didn't vlog any of it. Nothing. I totally forgot. I didn't vlog us shopping in Nordstrom. I didn't vlog us lunching at Nordstrom. I didn't take any pictures. It's like it never happened. But it happened. This shirt, by the way, I, I wish you guys could touch it. It's so soft. It's from a store in Oxford. So if you're in Oxford, Mississippi, the store is called Hinton and Hinton, and this is their house brand. It's a lot like Peter Millar, but it's so soft. It's very soft. Anyway, yep, totally meant to film that. It didn't happen. But for those of you that have eaten at a Nordstrom restaurant, who hands raised if you love their skinny french fries dipped in olive tapenade. Oh my gosh, so good. So good. Let me know. Comments below. Here. It's not topping out, it's like an olive cream, creamy dip. I don't know, it's amazing. Let me see a show of hands down below. Michael and I are enjoying, or about to enjoy, a really nice lunch. Hang on, let me get closer to the, get closer to the microphone. Do you hear how loud? Okay, the lady's not talking. But have you ever had an experience where the diner near you is so loud? that it just totally ruins your dining experience. We're kind of at that level right now. Like, so Our food isn't here yet though, so maybe they'll be gone by the time our food comes. I can't wait, It's I can't wait to show you my lunch. The lady on the other side of me ordered it and I was like, yep, I need that. And I'm filming on my phone, so the sound is really low, so you're probably not gonna hear the, the loudness happening over there. I got some kind of huevos rancheros thing with on tostados. Huevos rancheros tostados is what it's called. I'm in the mood for Mexican food. And Michael got some sort of egg white, egg white hash like skillet, skillet thing with like mushrooms and goat cheese, spinach. And you're adding ketchup to it. So I do it. I, I always do ketchup with my eggs. Anyway, the loud talker is still going, so. I'm gonna sign off and eat my food. Another day, same scene. How are you feeling today? Much better. <laughs> Thank you for smiling. I appreciate that. I am trying a new fajita chicken recipe. I'm just heating my oil and there are my peppers and onions seasoned with a little chili pepper. I am wrapped in a robe like a crazy person because I think I'm gonna show you the footage. Oh, that's not a good sound. Oh, dear God. There goes the rock. Woo! Yeah, oh, dear God. I know, I'm like backing up. Don't watch where oh, wow. you're stepping. Is there a dog poop right behind me? Yep. You never know. Could right be. where Michael's stepping. Uh, that's not a good noise. Back up. Back up. Well, the rock came out it's all right. Leaking. Is it leaking? Yep, see it? 
get it out of here. Hurry up and get it out. Get it out of here. <laughs> that it, that's not a good sound, but um, is it leaking? Yeah, but is it radiator, radiator fluid? fluid? But if it's gone quickly, it's okay. Oh man, that poor rock. Rock one, car zero. Rock he's one. He's snap that off, right? He can't drag that. I think he's got us. He's gonna stop it. What a mess. There was an accident at our main gate. Michael's present at HOA. We happen to be out, so we came home to make sure everything's okay and blah blah blah. And we ended up standing out in the cold and the rain for like two hours. Good news is the drive was a single car accident, and the driver is fine and the mother of a friend of mine. So I'm glad we were there. Anyway, I'm wrapped up in a row because I am freezing. So I will link the recipe um, below. Assuming I'll link it regardless and I'll let you know if it turns out well. So my chicken is marinating, my oil is good and hot, and I'm gonna saute my peppers and onions and then uh, get on with the chicken. Are we wrapping? <coughs> All right, we have the national champion dancer here. Hello. She's very tired right off the plane. And those are not real tortillas. They're gluten free. And that's, they're real. They're just not real gluten. And there we go. It's our very fancy dinner spread. So let's dig in, people, because it's a school night. You'll eat corn tortillas? Those are not corn I didn't know that. I would have gotten corn ones. Oh well, that are like half the price of these. Oh well, let's dig in. What are you doing to my newly made bed that was made by professionals? Are you getting intimate with my pillows? Wrigley, rein him in. He's out of control. Oh my gosh. He just burped. Oh, the roadie. Oh! Okay. Yes. Don't lick my makeup off. Mm, I love him, but just, no. No help. He's on my arm. He's balancing a lot of weight on my arm. Get off my arm. Oh God, he's back. <laughs> okay, yeah, he hugs. He wraps his arm around you and he hugs. Or maybe we're not hugging, excuse me. Hey, none of that, sir. Behave. The antics of an testosterone-laden teenaged Weimar on her. Your days are numbered, kiddo. March 1st, you're going under the knife. I swear I am dressed. My makeup is done. It's listed below. But I have been either sitting at my computer on the phone doing like office type work stuff or tax work. Taxes are so fun. Going through receipts and all that good stuff. I need a better system. Anyway, I'm going to reward myself also because I'm freezing, and for some reason Michael turned off the heat and didn't tell anyone he was turning off the heat. So it's 61 degrees in my house and it's 40 something degrees outside. I'm freezing, freezing. So I'm gonna run a hot bath, take all my makeup off, even though it is 3.30 in the afternoon, and wash my hair and just chill as a reward for working on our taxes. Does anyone else have to reward themselves to do stuff like this? Because I don't like it. Totally forgot to tell you how the fetus came out. They came out brilliantly. Highly recommend that recipe. And we had enough leftover fajita meat that I could cover Shane's salads for the rest of the week. So win-win, yay. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Which is funny because we're having chicken again tonight. But not tomorrow. It's only two nights of chicken so far. Michael walks in, okay, now he's freaking. What? You can't carry him like a baby, Rowdy. Now look what you've done. He's crazy. I swear I have three children and one of them is older than me. <laughs> Rowdy, did daddy get you riled up? Just a little bit. All right. Mommy is trying to fix her hair so that we can make a video. That's my plan today. Um, I washed my hair last night and I just blew it dry roughly with a round brush, but not like too precisely. And now, thanks to my friend Megan from Honey, We're Home, I know how to fake a blowout. So, this is back in action. And um, if you want to see how to do it, I will link you to her Instagram because it's on her story highlights. Um, she's brilliant and sweet and funny and just awesome. So follow her. Um, and uh, the reason I have no makeup on is because I'm filming a 
like demo. I hate to say tutorial because I'm not a professional. Hair is, doesn't it kind of look like I had a, I could zhuzh this a little, but doesn't it look like I just had my hair blown out from before? There's body, there's bend. It's just curling this all around, except for the very top layer, you just curl vertically instead of like this and curl away all in one direction. And then the top, you just roll backwards like you're putting it in a roller. It goes pretty quickly. So there you go. I can do better than this, but I'm still learning. So now I'm gonna get dressed and film a video. Not this one, like a real one where I sit down. See ya. Hi, this is my friend Linda. Hi. She's the one that was in the car wreck and now we're happy that she's upright. I'm happy You too. look really good. Oh, thank you. This is my second meeting of the day here. The first meeting we met with all 17 coaches and went, I mean, not just me personally, but you know, the Diamondbackers. And we talked about what they want for budgeting for the next three years. Very exciting. Very I'll fill you in on what volleyball requested. She's a volleyball varsity player. State semifinalists. And now we're coming to the DECA meeting. And are we the only people? Oh no, I think there's some people here. Yeah, there's Mrs. Moore. All right, we're gonna go find out what the DECA experience in Dallas is gonna be about. It's raining and icky and I feel icky, so I thought maybe if we left the house, it would force me to feel less icky. How do you feel? I feel perfectly good, actually. I don't have this allergy. I think it's allergies. Anyway, um, today is Friday, February 9th, which is my nephew's birthday. Happy birthday, Evie. Um, but it's also the day that my favorite gluten-free and dairy-free foods video went up. And a lot of you gave some great suggestions. And I have already placed an order for some of the things you linked for me on Amazon, so thank you. But one of you who lives here in San Antonio recommended that I check out that Natural Grocers, um, which I've driven by a million times and keep meaning to go. And I saw that comment and I'm like, let's just do it. So Michael and I are heading that way. Sorry, it's bouncy, we're in a car. But I wanted to show you something really cool. I was inspired by Christina Brawley to order a purse organizer for my LV Neverfull because it's never full and so I just keep throwing crap in it. And I found a very inexpensive one on in in Instagram. Try Amazon. Found an inexpensive one on Amazon and I just wanted to show you some cool features, hang on. This one is felt, I didn't splash out for like a vinyl one. And what I really like is this little slit here is really for a laptop or an iPad but I have found that it's really handy to file all my little loose papers and notebooks and stuff. It's just tucked away and it's not loose and all over the place. And there's still room for like all my stuff, like my big pouch. And what I really like that I have not seen on other ones is this middle pouch that has a zipper. Wait, this is for keys. That has a zipper so I can keep like my wallet and you know, stuff that I don't want someone to be able to reach in and grab. And I can't zip it one handed, but the neat part is it's Velcro. So if you don't want this pouch in the middle, you just pull it out and it comes out with Velcro on each side, which I'm not gonna do right now. Anyway, I just like it. I like that it's flexible enough that I can tuck a water bottle on the other side and it fits in. There's still room for a lot. I can still access my little pocket that comes with it. And you know, if I really want it secure, I can just lash it with the thing. Just thought I would show you that. I'm still trying to figure out where I actually put everything. I'm so organized, I don't know where anything is. What's this? Oh, I already had sunglasses in here. I have sunglasses on my head too. A little too organized for my own good. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm so organized, I don't know where I put things and I actually forgot that I put things in here. You can be too organized. A little too organized. Sometimes your organizational style is so complicated that you can't forget, you kind of forget what it is. Like, you know how when you put something somewhere specifically so you won't forget it and then you forget where it is that you put that thing? That happens to me every time I do that. I should just leave things lying around or leave myself a treasure map. I'm so excited, we're in Natural Grocers, and a lot of you, at least a couple of you, have recommended these rice ramen, and I did just literally place an order on Amazon, but look at these, and the prices are really good. These are gluten-free um, ramen, and Shane has missed these terribly. So, I'm very excited about this place. Ooh, and now we're in the baking section, let's see what we got. I'm still looking for a substitute for cream of mushroom soup, which you can make with powdered rice milk, but I have not been able to find it. But maybe I can find it here. Look at all this. We have a selection of goodies. We didn't go crazy because we kind of want to use up what we already have in the house. These things are not the cheapest things in the world. And I kind of wanted to bring Shane with on a weekend to say, do you actually like this? But I picked this up. This is the Kite Hill Cream Cheese Style Spread Plain. Many of you recommended this brand. I've never seen it before. And very excited to find 
ready-made pudding snacks for Mr. Shane. Um, I think he'd be willing to even eat these for breakfast. So, that, ooh, so that's good. His favorite salad dressing was on sale, so I grabbed it back up. And we have this at our grocery store. I'm mean, actually surprised how much we actually have normal in our grocery store, but this ready-to-go pad thai, gluten-free. Yes, gluten-free, just confirming. Shane is a huge fan of that, so. And then I did grab, I ordered this brand in a different flavor from Amazon, so I wanna try this purple potato one as well. It's kind of funky. If you can get past the fact that you will be eating purple noodles. And then I got myself my favorite snack. The Snyder's gluten-free honey mustard and onion pretzels. So yummy. <sighs> That's it. Oh, and I got Valentine's cards and a belated birthday card for a friend. And that's it. Oh no, that's not it. Let me show you the pretty card I got. Hang on. I got a really sweet Galentine's Day card from Anti-Aging Amber. And that's the front. I like to pretend that's me. And then on the inside it says, beauty, glamour, style, you're always amazing. Happy Valentine's Day. This must have been addressed to someone else. I'm just kidding. And um, anyway, that's very nice. Thank you, Amber. She's really sweet. She asked for my address and I said, only if you promise there will be no gifts. I love cards though, love, love, love. I have everything I need and everything I want, but I could always use a nice letter or card. So I gave her my address. I don't have a PO box anymore, that's why. Alrighty, I'm gonna change out of all this. I'm gonna get into sweats and then I'm gonna make dinner. I'm just gonna chill. Because even though it's Friday night, Shane is taking the ACT, which for those of you who are not Americans, that is a standardized college testing test um, for admission to universities. So he's already taken the SAT twice and now he's giving the ACT a go. We'll see how that goes soon. Good morning. It is Saturday and I am full on glam and it's not quite 11 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> this little behind the scenes, I was going to do a video that wasn't sponsored but had a sponsored mention of a product in it and I'm not going to throw shade on that product or the company. Um, I had already planned a video in March for my go-to evening or going out kind of look. And when this company approached me and asked if I would do a mention of their product, I'm like, oh, it fits into this video. So sure, we'll just slot you right in. The product didn't work, didn't do what it was supposed to do, didn't fulfill any of its claims. And in the middle of filming the video, I literally stopped the camera, looked at Michael and said, can't do this, just can't, sorry. He's like, no, don't be sorry, just, is the video salvageable? Can we still use it for what you wanted to use it without the sponsor part? And I was like, yeah, let's keep rolling. So the video itself won't go up until the 27th of March, but here I am glammed out at like 10.30 in the morning on a Saturday. This is my evening look, my go-to. Look at that highlight, bam, it's a little much for daytime. Not this shirt or whatever, but I had a different outfit on. I changed back into my cozy, oversized, very old loft chenille sweatshirt. I did wear these leggings in the video and I assure you that my Ugg, my dirty Ugg booties are not part of my sexy day night, date night <laughs> look. Anyway, I just, you know, sometimes things don't work out and I guess I'm saying this more to the YouTube creators than the YouTube viewers. It's okay to agree to do a video and then decide, nope, not working for me, and you just have to be very polite and let the company know, sorry guys, it's not happening. And I've never had a company give me any problem with that, so that's that. It was for a primer, and the primer just didn't, didn't work out for me. But what do you think of this look? Do you like it? I hope you like it, because you'll be seeing how I did it in a few weeks. Look at this guilty face. What? For all of you who said, oh, get a Kong. That won't be a problem. Hello? No, 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 no. Nope. Sir. Kong destroyer of the world. <laughs> I mean, I have never. This predates him by like three, like, Rowdy, we got this for Bosley, I think, and Bosley showed no interest in it. Nobody showed any, nobody's chewed on this until you. Uh-huh. Does, I need to show this to Kong. I, I think I'm gonna, Send this to Kong, like on Instagram, and be like, and you thought it was indestructible. You have not met Rowdy. 
the destroyer. Dun dun dun. Ah, uh, for a minute there I had four out of my five babies. Oh. Now we're down to two. Hello, Westies. We call you two the shining twins, don't we? Because, well, sometimes you do crazy things. Yeah, I'm talking to someone. <laughs> Cannot. Cannot interact with the other two without this one popping up. So I have Shane here, but he's half naked. Um, and we are, I'm helping him. I'm trying to help very little. Assemble his girlfriend's Valentine's present, which I can show you because by the time this vlog goes up, it will be after Valentine's Day. Isn't that cute? So, this is the only thing that I had to say in. I suggested this. Um, it's an acrylic tray, and you can have a vinyl, anything really put on name, monogram, all that stuff. And this is her monogram, and this is one of her favorite colors. And then Shane picked out all the other stuff. So we have a little candy chocolate heart box. We're going to, I'll show you what we're going to do. We have Hershey's Kisses. He found these at Target. These are little heart marshmallows. This is her favorite candy. She loves fuzzy socks, so we're going to do that. Um, I did happen to have these, and I suggested to donate them to the cause. They're little bath bombs and stuff. I think we can take it out of the package. I mean, they're quite fragrant. Woo! Um, very cute. Do you like it? Yeah. And then, um, so we're going to pile, hopefully, all of this stuff on here. And then Shane, I'm, I think I'm going to try to get over to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and get one of those big cellophane bags to put it in so it doesn't all fall out. But we're going to repackage the candy in little cellophane bags so it's prettier. So get to work, kiddo. So he managed to stuff it all in there. So it's cute. I think this definitely requires some sort of larger bag to keep it all contained. I am running around like a chicken with my head cut. Oh, there it is. Looking for my lipstick. Hourglass, one of the girl ones. Um, I am off to a meet the judge, no, meet the judicial candidate meeting. A girlfriend of mine is organizing and it's more of an excuse to just like get together with the neighborhood ladies, but whatever. It's Sunday, so I don't want to get too dressed up. So I got this at the anniversary sale. Of course, it's probably long gone. I yell at so it's just a sweatshirt dress, basically, because it's cold and just some old tights, and I don't even know if these boots are still available. I love them, though. Um, anniversary sale is everything. Everything! It's 31 degrees outside. Why? Why? And it's supposed to be in the 70s by the end of the week. What is this? This isn't global warming. This is global yo-yoing. Okay. I think I'm just gonna wear my camel sh shirt camel coat. This is still available as of yesterday and it's like $30 and I should get like a couple of them because I really like some more colors. I really like it. All right, going to that and then I'm going to briefly come home and then we're off to another meeting at five and then dinner with the family. That's my Sunday. Okay, I know, it's time to go out. I'll let you out. Do you wanna go I'll out? Watch him, yeah, You'll watch him. Yeah. Rowdy, do not dig holes while I'm gone. Watching, yeah. Daddy will be watching you. Famous author, right there. We are back from our back to back Meetings got a lot accomplished, and now we're just having quiet dinner at home. Shane's having some soup, and Michael went to put gas in my car, which is very nice of him, and to pick up something that fell on the floor, and to uh, and the garbage needs to be taken up. Pick up some subway for me and him, him and me. You know what I mean. Um, so I think I'm gonna call it a vlog. Um, just get some laundry put away and get ready for the uh, upcoming school week. So, that is that. Uh, it's been a pretty mellow week. So hopefully there'll be, oh, next week, lots of stuff. Tomorrow I'm having lunch with my friend Danny. And then we go to Ole Miss for a college visit towards the end of the week. So there will be plenty to see when we get there. Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me for another week and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.